Welcome back everybody, today we're going to talk about Nirvana and how to sound like Chris Novoselic. And we're going to start right away with tip number one, which is... Play off the vocal melody. We're going to start right away with some advice that Novoselic himself gave to aspiring bass players. My unsolicited advice for bass players is that you're not chained to the guitar, you're chained to the kick drum, right? But listen to what the vocal melodies are doing. If you can accentuate that and play off that, you're adding a dynamic to the band and to the song. And if you're lucky and it comes together, it sounds big. In fact, this is the first trait of Novoselic's playing that jumps to eye. In many Nirvana songs, the bass parts tend to get really busy, especially on verses and choruses. Although Chris does not actually double the vocal parts, he tends to add more action when the vocal line becomes more melodic, adding a sort of green dayish happy punk feeling to the song. Bass guitar plays a big part in defining the sound of Nirvana. Kurt Cobain was not a riff guy and pretty much every Nirvana chorus features only chords blasting away. And maybe some arpeggio or some other arrangement, but there's not a main riff that needed to be backed up by the bass. So Novoselic did have a lot of space and he used it to lay down some really melodic bass lines that combined with the raw sound of the band and with Kurt's raspy voice created an interesting contrast and contributed in making Nirvana sound so unique. It's also worth mentioning that Chris tends to keep the verse more linear if he had a busy chorus and vice versa. At the end of this video I'm gonna use some tips and demonstrate how to turn a regular bass line into a Nirvana one so make sure you watch till the end. Number two, no down picking. This is really strange considering that Chris is 6.7 and how low he kept his bass when playing with Nirvana, but yes, Chris Novoselic did not down pick. The alternate picking happens also on songs with very slow tempo, so I think he just felt more comfortable to play this way. As a result, the bass has a casual and slightly sloppy quality that definitely adds a punk feeling to the music of Nirvana. Number three, change root on chord progressions. Changing the root of the note or playing a slash chord is a brilliant yet simple move that can create a nice special effect, especially in bands with only one guitar like Nirvana, and it's something that Chris did quite frequently. If you don't know what a slash chord is, I recommend you follow the link in the description and check out my John Deacon video. Here's a few examples of slash chords in the music of Nirvana. Number four, incorporate a little bending into your riffs. Bending is something typical of the guitar and you don't hear it that often on a bass, but Chris does it every now and then, adding a little haunting quality to the bass line. quality of some of Nirvana's bass lines is also due to the heavy distortion used by Novoselic. Once again, speaking of bass tone when talking about Nirvana is not an easy thing to do. During the few years Nirvana were active, Chris used at least 15 basses and no less than 10 different amps, so there's not a real standard sound. However, if you want to know about his gear, I found a list that seems legit. I put the link in the description of this video, so go and have a look. Another thing you can do to bring a little nirvana into your playing is adding some little slides in your riffs instead of picking every note. A couple of good examples are the intro of Lounge Act and the fuzzy tone of Breed.
Number seven, add some little hammer-ons and pull-offs to your parts. The most famous example is the intro of Love Buzz. But beside that, Chris occasionally inserts some chromatic hammer-ons in his parts. Check it out. And this is pretty much all there is to say about Chris Novoselic. Nirvana had a lot of loud and quiet dynamics, and sometimes the bass or the guitar would not play at all during the verse. In other occasions, Chris would play parts that were higher on the neck, and go down to the E string when the big chorus came, but that is not a general rule. He would also use the occasional power chord, some syncopation or a little staccato to push the guitar, for example in the verse of Stay Away or in the verse of Heart Shaped Box. Nirvana are mostly remembered for Kurt Cobain's persona or for the powerful drumming of Dave Grohl, but like in every power trio, the bass played a big part in crafting their sound. Just look at how many Nirvana songs start with the bass. That's all. I hope you enjoyed the video, leave a comment to let me know what you think about Chris Novoselic and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram.